Hello everyone, welcome to Robot Fight Club, the channel where I teach you how to start or continue your journey in combat robotics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a combat robot for under 20 bucks. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Robot Fight Club. Alright, before we get started, you may be interested to know exactly what we're building. Well, we're going to be building a wedge. Now, before you're all like, I want to build mini tombstone! Keep in mind that if this is your first or one of your first combat robots, you're definitely going to want to keep it simple, and this is the perfect robot for a beginner. It's very easy to build, operate, and it's very fun, and also extremely cheap. Alright, well, now that you know what we're building, let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies. All right, let's take a look at the supplies. The first thing you need is one of these. It's a sharper image, remote control flip stunt rally car, and these are about 10 bucks at Walmart. Then you're gonna need a polycarbonate cutting board. These are about a buck at Walmart. You're gonna wanna get the thin kind. Then you're gonna need to get some half inch number six machine screws. That's about a buck at Walmart. You're gonna need some duct tape, of course, some cardboard, some heavy duty hot glue sticks and a battery holder so I'm using a 4 AA battery holder you might not be able to get this at Walmart you may have to order it um, in a pinch you can always use a battery holder from a cheap Walmart flashlight it'll give you less power but it does work alright now that we know what supplies we need let's go ahead and get into the building process Alright, now what we need out of this car is the gearboxes and the receiver. I would just recommend going ahead and taking off the tires to make it a little bit easier to work with. Alright, now you're going to need to take out this screw right here. And then there is four more right here that hold in the bottom half. Alright, once you've got those screws out, you can just go ahead and take off the top. And right up here, you will find the antenna, which is just a strip of this copper like foil. And you can just peel that off. Alright, this is where it can get a little bit complicated, and this is where you can mess up if you don't know what you're doing. What we need to do is take out these gearboxes, the receiver, and separate them into something we can mount on our robot. So it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I'll show you how to do it. First, go ahead and remove those wheel hubs from the car. Alright, now you're going to have to go ahead and remove all of the four screws from each side of the gearbox. And just take it apart, make sure you don't lose any of the gears or anything like that. Alright, now you're going to want to go ahead and carefully remove the covers from the gearbox. Be sure you don't lose any of the gears or axles and just make sure you know where everything goes. There's two of these metal axles that go through the wheel hubs. Make sure you remove those and set them aside. Now you're going to want to carefully remove the motors. Then you can go ahead and reassemble the gearbox and put all the screws back in. Alright, the next step is to cut the leads that go to the battery as well as the leads that go to the LED lights. Then you're going to want to go ahead and completely remove all of the electronics, so the motors and the receiver, from the car. Go ahead and cut that off. Alright, so now you have your electronic uh, receiver board. 
and this is very important. All right, go ahead and set this aside, being careful not to damage it. All right, now what you're going to want to do is take a saw and cut the card down the middle so you're left with two separate gearboxes. Now we have our two halves for the gearbox and these will be able to mount on our base plate. We got one more thing to do and that's with these axles that we took out. Go ahead and cut the axles in half. Alright now you're going to want to go ahead and take those axles that you've cut in half and insert them back through the holes so they go back through the hubs for the wheels. And then make sure you go ahead and put all the screws back into the gearboxes. Alright, just like this, you got both of them. And with that, you are done with the gearboxes for now, and we'll move on to the base plate. Alright, for the base plate, you're just going to be using that polycarbonate cutting board you got. And you're going to want it to be about 7 inches long by 4 inches Alright, and there's the base plate, so we just gotta go ahead and cut that out. After much cutting we have the base plate done so now all that's left to do is go ahead and glue these on all right so now that we got that glued on what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a nine 64 inch drill bit and drill two holes on each of these all right so we got those bolts in right there and I also cut off the excess length of the bolts so that these wheels can touch the ground like that. You'll see why in a little bit but for now let's go ahead and make the wedge. The wedge is a kind of a place where you can get really creative and kind of make whatever kind of wedge you want. I got the wedge I made on there and this the kind you make will greatly depend on how you want your bot to be designed so it's really up to you how you make your wedge. I made mine like this and usually the best way to get that in is to put like a strip of um, something like a small pipe. I put in a pencil and then that way you can support that slope and then glue it there as well. And I just have this secured on with hot glue and that will not come off. That will work just fine. Alright, so now I have to go ahead and wire this up. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and wire in this battery pack to the battery leads and then I will take some wire and just wire the motors back up to the motor leads. Be careful when you're when you're wiring up because just make sure that you wire it so it controls correctly so you don't accidentally get it driving backwards or not going straight things like that. Just make sure you you, you wire it up correctly and that may take a little bit of trial and error but other than that Let's just get into it.
All right, so I have it working, all wired up, and pretty much ready to go. One of the only major things left to do though is to select the wheels, or the tires I should say. So it comes with these, these are large tires, and the larger the tire, the less, you'll have more speed, but you'll have less torque. So you have to decide if you want to keep something bigger like this, make something custom out of like duct tape or rubber, or you know whatever, or a mix between the two. Myself, I am going to be using these uh, Lego tires. I'm going to just stretch them over these hubs and that has worked quite well for me over the past few models of this robot. So I'm going to stick to that, put those on, and then I'll just do some finishing touches and it'll be ready to go. Okay guys, and with that, we are done with the robot. I just put on a metal strip for the wedge, that's optional of course, and then I put on a few cardboard coverings. Now I left it really simple because this is the part where it's really good to customize and for you guys to put on what you want, make it look like how you want it. Other than that, let's go ahead and test it really quick. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video. We have just built a combat robot for under 20 bucks. Not a super competitive one, but definitely a good beginner's robot and definitely something to help you build your skills as when it comes to building electronics, things like that. And overall, just a really fun robot to play around with. If you think of a name for this boy, just let me know down in the comments and I'll pick my favorite, I guess. Alright, I really hope this video helped you guys out, or was at least entertaining, and if it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channel, I'm uploading new videos on robotic combat every Friday. Well that does it for today's video, and I will see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching.